Block section means that portion of the running line between two block stations onto which no running train may enter until line clear has been received from the block station at the other end of the block section. Block signaling means that the block instrument controls the passage of trains electrically into the block section, which in turn electrically controls both side signals of a block section. Are to be adequately spaced apart to prevent collision between trains running in the same direction and prevent trains entering on the same track from the opposite direction. This is achieved by block working between stations. The entry of train onto the block section is jointly controlled by the entry and exit points of the block section. The driver is authorized to proceed into a section by the signal controlling the entry into the section. This working could be a manual block system or automatic block system. In any type, before the train could be allowed to enter a section, permission is required to be obtained from the exit end to the effect that the section is clear of trains and the train could be permitted. Different systems of working for getting permission to approach or to enter a block section has been evolved on Indian railways and are classified as system of working. Absolute block system and automatic block system only shall be used in all Indian railways unless the other systems are especially permitted by the railway board. Stations are those at which the driver must obtain an authority to proceed under the system of working to enter the block section with his train. And under the absolute block system consists of three classes, Class A, Class B and Class C. Non-block stations or Class D stations are stopping places which are situated between two consecutive block stations and do not form boundary of any block section. Absolute block system, the space travel is strictly enforced. In this, only one train is allowed into a block section at a time. If the block section, together with the block overlap, is required to be clear before line clear is given, then we get the absolute block system. A worked on the absolute block system. No train shall be allowed to leave a block station unless line clear has been received from the block station in advance. On double lines, such line clear shall not be given unless the line is clear, not only up to the first stop signal at the block station at which such line clear is given, but also for an adequate distance beyond it. On single line, such line clear shall not be given unless the line is clear of trains running in the same direction, not only up to the first stop signal at the block station at which such line clear is given, but also for an adequate distance beyond it, and is clear of trains running in the direction towards the block station to which such line clear is given unless otherwise directed by approved special instructions the adequate distance shall not be less than 400 meters in case of two aspect lower quadrant signaling or two aspect color light signaling and 180 meters in case of multiple aspect signaling or modified lower quadrant signaling the adequate distance referred for block signaling are known as block overlaps. Adequate distance means the distance sufficient to ensure safety. Authority to proceed means the authority given to the driver of a train under the system of working to enter the block section with his train. Last stop signal means the fixed stop signal of a station 
controlling the entry of trains into the next block section. And clear means the permission given from a block station to a block station in rear for a train to leave the later and approach the former. Or the permission obtained by a block station from a block station in advance for a train to leave the former and proceed towards the later. Running train means a train which has started under an authority to proceed and has not completed its journey. Station means any place on a line of railway at which traffic is dealt with or at which an authority to proceed is given under the system of working. of traffic means a on a double line the direction for which the line is signaled b on a single line the direction for the time being established under the system of working to allow trains to move in that direction Single line section, the train movements are bidirectional. As only one track is available between two block stations, same line is used for both up and down trains, one after other, as required. In section, the train movements are unidirectional, as there are two tracks available between two block stations. One track is meant for up train movement, known as up line, and the other track is meant for down train movements, known as down line. On single line, trains are normally worked with electrical token block instruments. This token is the tangible authority for the driver of a train to take his train into the block section. Since the token transfer can be done only by the technical staff who have access to the interior of the instruments, it would take considerable time of the skilled staff for unskilled work. Therefore, non-token electric block instruments are used on double line sections. On double line sections, since token instrument cannot be utilized on account of unidirectional traffic, the authority to proceed for the driver is the off aspect of last stop signal. To ensure compliance with the rules and for ensuring safety, it thus becomes necessary to interlock block signals with block instruments and thus we get what is known as lock and block working. In this method, the signal and block indications can never conflict. Lock and Block
The object of lock and block working is to ensure that a train which has been accepted and signaled forward must clear the section and also signals replace the danger behind it before a following train can be accepted and signaled forward. Lock and block is defined as a system of block signaling wherein the passage of trains electrically controls the block instrument, which in turn electrically controls the signals. Interlocking between BI and signals. The following are the essential requirements of interlocking between block instrument and signals on the double line. It shall not be possible to take off the last stop signal to permit a train to leave a block station until line clear has been received from the block station in advance. The entry of the train into the block section shall cause the last stop signal to be replaced to on. Means shall be provided to prevent line clear being given by the block station in advance until the whole of the preceding train has cleared the block section, the overlap and also that the block signals have been replaced to on. This lock and block working or interlocking between block instrument and signals to regulate the train movements safely on double line section is achieved with the use of double line block instruments along with advanced starter replacement track circuit, block clearance track circuits and with other necessary arrangements.